Look at that. Honey. Oh. Plop, plop. Plop, plop, motherfucker. And I'll tell you what, fucking, earlier, to getting that honey on that bucket, I need a space heater to put it in front of. I'll tell you what, man, I was sticky all the way to my elbows, man. That was fucking crazy. Look, here, here we go. Be watching, Pinchy. Thank you. I'll make sure you get some of this. I built a new new shelf too. Show you guys my new shelf. Build a new shelf. There's my. Uh, I ain't open that yet. I'll make a video about that. But there's my new shelf. Got my new black sign. I showed y'all my fishes. Fish, fish. Got a new moonshine sign. Uh, that big son bitch up there. Got me an American Eagle. I think that's about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Bill Billy Moonshine. 
How y'all been, man? I know it's been a while since I've been live. Been busy. Disgusting floor. <laughs> you want to see it? It dries every day, Jack. <laughs> I'll give you a close-up. Ooh. <laughs> it dries. It evaporates. <laughs> As long as I don't spit in a mash, we're good. Hell yeah. What are you mashing, Roy? What's a Smurf Berry? Smurf Berry is a mix between, what's up, Big Rob? Smurf Berry is a mix between blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries, and pomegranate juice. If you could imagine what a Smurf berry would taste like, it would be all those berries combined into one badass berry mixed with honey. 35 pounds of honey in there. Let me give her a shake. Corn, hell yeah. I, uh, I got me a corn going yesterday. Jimmy cracked it. Jimmy cracked it. Yeah, hell yeah. Jimmy's my boy. Man, I took advantage of yesterday and I worked my ass off out here cleaning and cleaning these barrels out so I could start some new mashes because snow's coming tonight. We're going to get 12 inches of snow at least, supposedly. Hope not, but fucking is what it is. Oh yeah, honey comes through, bro. I mean, is it worth the price? Probably not. You could probably just put five pounds of honey in your thumper and get similar to the same. But if you love it, you put the money and effort into it. I didn't pay for this honey, by the way. Pinchy gave it to me. She is one of the most amazing people I've ever met. <laughs> what receipts do you suggest for H. Cognac? Um, what do you mean receipts? Paul, did you mean to say recipes? I've never made a cognac, brother. Never. So I don't know, but I, I have liked a few. I've tried some of them. If you are a beekeeper, I've got honey. Hell yeah. Roy Boy's Bees. I make as much shine out of honey as I can. It's, uh, it's delicious. I got some over there. I've drank about most of it. I gave a lot of little little bits away and had people try it, and they're like, that's good. I really like the honey shine, mead shine, bumble shine. I don't know what the fuck to call it, but I like it. I did get um, some, I rearranged my shit. I got some new, some new bourbons. Um, I started a new channel with my buddy. Um, it's called uh, All Sorts. Me and my buddy Josh started a bourbon reviewing channel, and he said he wants to go back and redo them all after we build the bar and shit. But I'm like, I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to make some videos, Josh. Let's get your ass over here on Friday, boy. But uh, this thing here, man, let me show you. You like rye, dude. You see that in a store? 
Ooh, it really stiff. Yeah, I ain't planning on leaving neither. I bet if you went to any store around this motherfucker, wouldn't be no bread, wouldn't be no milk, wouldn't be no shit paper. This right here is called Piggyback by Whistle Pig. It's like a $50 bottle, but dude. I think I'm gonna have to keep one of these on the shelf all the time. That's good. That's fucking good. Mm. That's top notch. I can drink that all night long. Am I going to at 50 bucks a bottle? Probably not. What's up, McCoos? Let me stir this Smurf berries. What do you mean? What's up, brother? Um, should have blended all them up before I put them in there, but I wanted them to look pretty for the video. Now I'm gonna take a hand blender and go in there and get all sticky again. Fucking, this shit's expensive, man. Pomegranate juice. I'll put some of that in there too. It's gonna be delicious. I'm making a mead just like this too. What's up, FJ? I'm gonna use this yeast to start it. And then could that mash go in a thumper? Yeah. Yeah, you can put mash in a thumper. I'm gonna use this yeast to start it. It's a WLP 720. It's the kind you gotta keep in a refrigerator. Regular corn shine. Hell yeah, McCoos. Hell yeah, brother. Glad you guys watch, man. I'm gonna start it out with this. And then I'm gonna use one to make my mead. Let's see. How many gallons is one of these good for? Some bitch. What do you just say? Like up to this many gallons. I don't know. I don't know. I'll give it a little squirt. Hopefully it gives it a little better taste. In the end, I'm gonna put Dady in that shit. Or I might just go with Dady with the with the moonshine and put use these to make because because they don't want you pitching over 050. It don't say how many gallons this pack I do. I'll figure it out. It's probably on there. I'm just a little bit illiterate. <laughs> I got me some... Uh,
Hell yeah. Sour mash, baby. That's what that is. It's a bloody butcher sour mash. I had to dump corn all over my yard last night. Got it all over my damn feet because I was kicking it. I fucking... My shoes are all grimy still. I gotta wash my shoes. <laughs> coming soon. It's coming soon, Jack. I don't know about tonight. I don't think I'm gonna get fucked up tonight, but... That voodoo magic show is coming. I'm gonna do it when she, she ain't here. We're gonna fuck shit up. <laughs> that was fun. That'd be fun, right? You got crabs. You might want to get checked. <laughs> you know? The fuck? That's funny, man. I made a, a 20 gallons of sugar shine last night. Hell yeah. That sounds delicious. I'm not big on the turbo, but with Dady, that recipe would be top notch. Um, <laughs> hell yeah. Top notch. Yeah, I've been cleaning like a fool because my water hose has finally thawed out. You know what I mean? Thawed that shit out. And so I had to wash everything in here. Fucking buckets, trash pails, mash tons, trash cans, same fucking thing. But yeah, man. Last night I was out here till 10 o'clock at night fucking soaking wet, spraying everything out here in the front of the house. Cleaning. So I got, got two barrels that are empty, one, one for wine, and I got more. I, this is ready to run. Shit. Tangled up. Tangled up. This is ready to run in the big keg now. This was only like this was originally in there. That's seven gallon bin. That's a 12 gallon bin. So I added more to the triple. So I got about 11 gallons. That's three kinds of sour mash. I finally got it all. It's ready to run. I've been collecting extras, you know what I mean? Like every time you run, you got an extra gallon of mash from here, extra gallon of mash from there. You got honey on every fucking thing in here, man. Everything's sticky. Fucking. But yeah, all I gotta do is throw out in a keg and run it. It's gonna be fucking three kinds of sour mash from three different kinds of corn. Finally got enough to do it in a big keg. I was thinking I was going to put it in a, a little one, pony, and just run it. <clears throat> but I started going through these, and I got some enough to make it a full run. I'm thinking probably put some cream corn or something in the thumper. Some sort of corn, sweet corn. Maybe throw some sweet corn in a blender with a little bit of, a little bit of you know, Moonshine. How do you sour your mash? You put some back set back in it. So first run, they call it sweet liquor or whatever you want to call it. The second run, you, uh, you cook, you take all the liquid off your corn. You leave just a little bit on top of it. You got your corn in your barrel. Still, you don't throw it out. But when you go to get your mash off, anything floating on top, you want to skim off, which won't be much. That's spent corn. You don't want that in there. I'll show you the Smurf berries in a second. Um, so, you cook your run. You let, you let your 
your pot cool down. It has your all the shit that, that you got your alcohol out of. You're done with it, right? That's called back set. We take some of that back set, put it back on your corn, add some water and some sugar, let it sit till it, you know, till it fucking creates some shine again or some some wine again, and that, that's called sour mash. Once you run that, that's sour mash liquor. Check out my Uncle Jesse's video. Uncle Jesse Simple Sour Mash. All right. No, I'd never use that still no more. I'll have to break it out. I'm busy building so many stills that I'm always using something crazy or different. Um, so, these are Smurf berries. I, I had to go and fight Gargamel and had to kick his cat in the face to get these. No, these are, uh, I'm calling it Smurf berry. It's a mix between blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and pomegranate juice. Yeah, pretty much. Sourdough bread. And, and there's 35 pounds of honey in there. I'll bet if you took a drink of this right now, it'd be better. It'd burn your mouth, but I'm saying if it cooled down, that'd be better than the best damn Kool-Aid you ever drank in your fucking life. Wish I had a little spoon or something to dip in it. Watch this. Bro, that's a bad motherfucker right there, dude. Legit. Oh, that's going to be so good. Ain't nobody going to be able to fuck with that. That's award-winning shit right there. That's amazing. Hopefully I get finished with this before it starts snowing so I could take that outside and clean it, man, because that motherfucker's going to be sticky. Everything in here is sticky. Oh, it's top shelf, Jack. I need to go get a beer. I only got one cold one. I'm waiting on these ones to get cold. Fuck fucking piece of shit. Go in the house real quick. I used to install it, okay? The feed, it's like a fucking moon right Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Me too. See how dirty the floor is <laughs> everywhere, Jack? <laughs> Motherfuckers dirty everywhere. No, I need new carpet real bad, dude. That's the only thing left to do in this house. I rebuilt the whole motherfucker. Themselves at McDonald's, they get $50 million. You don't think after the hell you just threw it, deserve a measly couple hundred grand? I think we do. She, yeah. Damn, I should have grabbed that little hand blender while I was in there. Hand blender, yeah. Hand blender, yeah. Hand blender, yeah. Hand blender. What's up, GW?
Last cold one. After this one, I gotta drink warm beer. I could probably throw a couple of them in the freezer though. Ugh. I know. Like, it ain't even so much the money, it's scheduling it and getting everything off of it for the guys to come and fucking put it in. That's the worst part about carpet. Um, but yeah, man, I've remodeled my entire house besides that carpet. Before I was waiting for we got rid of them fucking kittens. It's like, I ain't doing it. And I had the money then. Now I gotta get the money again. I done spent it. But, uh, but yeah, just don't fucking lay on the floor. <laughs> You'll be all right. All the furniture is decent. Man, I'll tell you what, there was a close call with another cat yesterday. Fucking. I think that cat has a disease or something. That motherfucker had kittens again. So nobody ever went and got it fixed. I had four of them. Three of them died. Last one left, we're like, oh, this one's going to make it. This one's going to make it. And I'm sitting there thinking, like, it's got disease or something. But it seemed like it was healthier than the others. So my son comes out and is like, oh, my God, I just shut the door and that little kitten was in a door and I didn't mean to and now it's flopping around and shit and I was like oh man hell yeah down by the pond so I'm like freaking out I'm like damn it dude we're checking it out and it's just gasping and shit and I'd hit waterboard this one Jack so like uh called my buddy around the corner was like hey man uh Come pop this motherfucker, you know, get it and take it around the corner. I don't want my kids to have to, you know, know what's going on, you know. And he's like, I'm out here. So I'm like, well, I could pop it with a pellet gun because I got a real high end pellet gun. And I go out and uh, I go to do it and my pellet gun just fucking don't go. It's like, what? So I tried it four times. And I'm like, motherfucker, this. Somebody broke my pellet gun. Probably probably my boy. He breaks every fucking thing. But, uh... So, and I had to... Look, man, this is fucked up. But this cat's suffering, you know? And I just want to put it down. As humanely as possible. Quickly. Quickly means humanely. So, just in case the pellet don't get it immediately, I had a fucking east wing <laughs> right next to me. And I'm thinking like, fuck. So anyways, pellet gun don't go off. I feel bad for this little kitten because it's over gasping. Yeah, he swings a hammer. And uh, so I don't do it. The old lady's like, hey. No, 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 I'm like, hey, let's call the vet. See if they'll put it down. But I'm not paying them motherfuckers because I'll do it myself. And uh, let's tell them we found that motherfucker in the driveway or something. You know what I mean? So I do, and I'm like, hey. And they're like, oh, this cat, it's going to make it. It's all right. <laughs> I was like, cool, man. I told him, like, dude, I about fucking, my pellet gun would have been working. I would have took that some bitch right out. But I think it has some, something wrong with some sort of disease or something, man. These fucking kittens, maybe they got cat aids or fucking herpes or some shit. Who knows? But I know if they don't fix her this time, I'm fucking dropping her off at the park. Got a column still on a copper pot with an onion head. I need one with a thumper. I could build anything out of copper, dude. <laughs> he survived. He's missing a fucking leg. Hell yeah. It's a bad motherfucking rat. Dude, we got a cat. 
Look, what I hate is these fucking tomcats around here. Right? Like, dude, we got we got a wild cat. It's a bobtail. It's female. Some of y'all seen it on video. And she just goes from my house to that house to that house to that house. She makes rounds and she gets fed. When it's raining, we, you know, sometimes we'll let her in. But she's pregnant every time she can be. Um, so, fucking, and then she'll be in heat. She'll be over here in my backyard and there'll be five big giant ass tomcats out here trying to get her, trying to rape her, you know what I mean? And there's one that's missing a hind leg. And this motherfucker's over a three leg and <laughs> trying to get up on this fucking bobtail and all these other cats are, they got all four legs, so they're, they're beating him to the punch. But man, it's horrible. She's fucking pregnant again. If I catch her again, I'm taking her down the road and dropping her off. And I'm about to start popping these male cats. I don't want to, man, but I'm fucking sick of this cat fucking, it, it's real ridiculous. It, it's cat shit around here. Yeah. It's just too much to deal with. It's better than having mice. I'll tell you that. But, one fucking cat. Have a female fixed. That's it. Done with it. You know what I mean? Get rid of all these strays. And the neighborhood will be fine. There's so many stray cats around here. Hell yeah, I'm at Coos. Well, man, do you need any, any uh, two inch copper stuff or one inch, whatever? Half inch, three quarter. I could put together whatever. I built two stills today. And I got regular stills and still parts that go, you know, to them on my site, thephilbillymoonshine.com. I could build just about whatever out of copper. Um, I don't hammer copper, flat copper though, but I do make the jar lids. I sell the shit out of jar lids. I sold six, six kits today. Or this week, I sell them for twenty four ninety nine. That's just the lids. That's not nothing else. But that seems to be everybody's wanting to build their own jar kit, but they can't build their lids because they can't get flat copper. But I got it, so um, I actually got this little dude. I want to play with for infusing flavors into stuff. I meant to modify that this week, but <clears throat> I got too busy with other shit. Some marine pots are cool as fuck. They're cool looking. Getting shipped to Australia. Um, fuck no. <laughs> but if you need, you know, need my advice on anything, you you can text me. Spillbillymoonshine.com. I need to trim that stash. Look at that motherfucker. Probably 100 gallon. 100 gallon ain't no small one. <laughs> A flavor saver. Hell yeah. You gotta suck it out of there. Yeah, fuck a bunch of mice, huh? Man, we used to have mice bad when we. 
you know, the first few years I had this house, I had old cabinets. Them sons of bitches had like a pipeline. They, they had like, they was in the attic, it was underneath the, in the air ducts. And they just, they had like a, a mouse highway, dude. And they would get my cabinets and eat my food. So I had to buy containers. So I had everything of my food was in a plastic container, like, so mice proof, you know? Then I'd have to get up there about once a week and clean all the mice piss and my shit out of my cabinets. It was fucking disgusting. And I did everything to get rid of the motherfuckers. And finally, I, I got new cabinets where they can't get up there. There weren't no holes and shit. Like, I'd fill it in with stuff, and they'd chew through it. They ain't had that problem since I had my new cabinets. Um, plus, I got cats everywhere now. Jess, I told, I told your old man, hell yeah. Bring that motherfucker by. I got you an LCD, too. I got you a nice LCD out here, ready to go. I told Leroy. Come on by, brother. You come by right now. I'll hook that bitch up to the TV and figure out what's wrong with it. What's up, Cloud9? How you doing? I ain't going to be live very long, Jesse, if you're worried about me being online. <laughs> I know you don't like to be on, on, the, on the interwebs like that, but bring your PC by, bro. I'll fix you up like that. I'm a computer guy. Man, I wonder how much sloshing I'm gonna have to do to get all them berries broke up now. <laughs> I'm glad I can make you smile. But yeah, if you guys uh, like bourbon, I got a new channel. It's called All Sorts. <laughs> I don't know. I was gonna bring it to a boil and shut it down. I, I might not even have to bring it all the way to a full boil. Strawberry Moonshine Jam. Lake. Or with peaches. I'll make some strawberry moonshine. You know what? My boy. My boy is five. And he's like, you know what you should make next, Dad? Strawberry moonshine. <laughs> so I'll make some soon, even though he can't have it. But you know what I mean? I'll make some strawberry shine. Lake Erie Yellow Perch. I believe I've had that. Uh, yeah, that Viking's Bud was good. Especially if you smoke weed on it, dude. It'd get you fucking good and, and have you on fucking walking on clouds. Yeah, that's a coincidence, ain't it? Chunk's always, he's my biggest fan. Which sucks because, I mean, it don't suck, but I'm, I'm a bad influence sometimes. I've caught him in there saying fuck your mama a couple times. I'm like, hey, boy, you don't be cussing. <laughs> Viking's blood is... Um, it's mead made with cherries. So it's honey and cherries fermented. And then you just bottle it and drink it as wine. Yeah. Yeah, but I've caught Chunk saying that before. <laughs> like, boy... And he wears his Phil Billy Moonshine shirt, and I wear mine at the same time. He gets excited. We could go somewhere, and he'll tell absolute strangers. Uh, there is a Vikings Blood video, I believe. It's mead. It's it's M E A D. So just type that in, and you should find it. But but yeah, if any of you guys like bourbon and and reviews, review videos, I don't put them on here because they're really short. You know, it's just bullshitting. So, but if you guys want to watch them, they're on all sorts is the name of the new channel. And I got, we got a bunch of bourbons to try. It's just 
Josh is busy and I'm busy and he's got a he's a first shifter <laughs> so our schedules don't align no no it's really easy to make I mean it's expensive if you do a big batch but if you do like one gallon three gallons of honey pound of cherries that would make a good mead a little bit of yeast um, yeah that'd be a good a good good one to go with it's actually when I made my Vikings blood it was better than the regular honey <laughs> oh yeah Without the bad buzz and the weird taste. It had a lot of cherry and honey flavor to it. It was good. But we can't compare things to Wild Irish Rose, Jesse. Not everybody thinks like you, brother. <laughs> Not everybody drinks like you. <laughs> Jesse's a madman. He'll drink anything you got. What are you drinking tonight? What's up, David? Yeah. I heard uh, Dover's mom passed, man. That sucks. Seen he posted something on Facebook. Uh, shit was sad, bro. I probably shouldn't be talking about it on YouTube. Well, he posted on Facebook, so. But yeah, man. That's terrible, bro. Said that she passed in his arms. Poor dude. Collins Stone Sour Mix. Natty Ice. <laughs> that sucks, dude. Terrible when your mama mama goes. Yeah. Ugh. Man, I knew his his brother and sister. Uh, man, they used to beat the shit out of each other. I never seen bro. Well, I have seen brother and sister fight that hard. I mean, brothers and sisters and siblings fight. They only get along with them wrong. Hell yeah. Fucking. I seen his brother and his sister at the bus stop once. Uh, they, they fucking tried to kill each other. I was like, God damn. They just pulled on punching in the face and shit. Beating the hell out of each other. All over something stupid. Yeah, I was like, damn, that's your sister, Gilbert. <laughs> it's like, I don't care. <laughs> Them poor kids, man, they, they had it rough. Smurfberry, Smurfberry. Yeah, yeah, bro. They fought over something fucking stupid. I don't remember what it was, but it was the dumbest shit ever, and they tried to kill each other over it. But yeah, motherfucker fight over a McNugget. <laughs> like, that's my chicken nugget. No, that's mine. I guess when you grow up fucking poor, man. They, I mean, we all grew up poor, but they... I mean, I ain't putting them on, you know. We all grew up poor, but they had it rough. Had it a little rougher. Oh, it smells so good in my garage, dude. 
I think that's good enough as far as heating goes. Berries and cream. Yeah, I'm gonna let that cool down a bit. But, uh, yeah, bro, like, I think they, what the fuck was it? I don't remember exactly why they fought, but it was terrible. And I was amused because I was a little fucking asshole kid. I was such an asshole growing up. I still kind of am. Look at my... Look at that, boys. Smells good out here, dude. I just hope I get to wash that pot before it starts snowing and pissing more. I woke up, my yard was like a fucking damn swamp. What's up, Chicken Slapper? I love that fucking name, boy. <laughs> Motherfucking Chicken Slapper? You're my kind of people, I can tell. Jeff Dirt, oh no shit. Was it a good little brawl? Damn, I, I would have paid money to see fucking Dover and Jeff Dirt go. Who won that one? <laughs> Fuck. Look, man, if you ain't already got a nickname and you hang out with me, you're going to get one. <laughs> That's the way it is. You take it easy too, brother. So who won between uh, Dover and Jeff Dirt? I had these two dudes fight once. They ended up, they didn't want to fight each other, but they didn't want to fight me. So they fought each other. Um, it's a long story. Um, they ended up fucking like spooning on the ground. <laughs> and then it started raining and we was all on the porch like, walk on you fucking bitches. Look at you spooning in the rain. Now you're holding hands, walking each other home in the fucking rain. It was funny. Fucking old Ricky. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. That's my chicken wing, motherfucker. But yeah, fucking. I was a prick, man. I'd stir up shit, get people fighting just so I could watch. I ain't like that no more. <laughs> no shit. Shits and giggles. Hell yeah. About to put a dip in. Man, everything is sticky in this motherfucking garage now. Even my can of dip is sticky. My phone is sticky. Fuck. Feel like Chunk's been in here. My hand is a little sticky. Blah. I mean, that shit was all the way up to my elbows earlier. I should have just been patient and put it on a space heater. I don't have a space heater, but I should have went and found one. I do. I still like fucking... When I get drunk, I'm the same old asshole, I guess. I do start up, stir shit up. I don't know. 
I'll tell you the worst thing is usually the bees or the flies. The flies get pretty bad. Hell yeah. It's not about what you can do physically, it's but what you're willing to do. I know some big boys are too scared to scrap before, man. If you ain't willing to go, all that shit's out the window. I'll fuck with people that I know would kick my ass, but I just fucking, you know what I mean? You, you, you gotta, you know, fear. Fear turned the biggest motherfucker into the littlest motherfucker. Alcohol turned a motherfucker into a savage real quick. Oh, shit. I mean, it ain't tough, but I'm just saying. The worst part, someone fuck, never fuck with somebody that ain't got nothing to lose. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm just saying, man, you get one of my teeth. <laughs> you might, might get something sharp poking you in the fucking in the side. All right, Cloud Nine. You be good, darling. Yeah, in the summertime, it does. The flies will be everywhere. That's what's cool about shining in the winter. That's the only one cool thing about shining in the winter. Is uh, no more fruit flies, no more flies, no more bees. Fucking shining in the wind. It's hard though when your water hose freezes up <laughs> and you got to go wash a keg in your bathtub. <laughs> what the fuck? You carry a big heavy ass keg in there and fucking shake it around. You make a mess. You gotta get, you gotta mop the floor when you're done. That's why you wait to them key moments. Like yesterday was a key moment. Yesterday, my water hose thawed out and I cleaned everything in this bitch. <clears throat> and then just because it was thawed out, I, I, I pump, there ain't nothing in here but water and water. Because I know that tonight this motherfucker's freezing. So I went ahead and filled those up with 10 gallons. That one, I filled up sour mash. That one's got 20 gallons of sugar shine in it. Or sugar mash. Sugar wash. That one's empty. I'll make wine in that. And then that one has got a triple blend. Joey? Joey B? No. He can't get on YouTube, can he? That would be cool. No YouTube in prison, man. He called me yesterday just for a second. Wanted me to transfer money from his sister to some fucking... Somebody's cash app so he could get some food in there. The poor fucking dude's only halfway through. He's got, what, three and a half, four more years? Last weekend wasn't bad. Tonight's supposed to get real bad, David. But, yeah, I don't think he can... Uh, he has Facebook? A new one, like a prison Facebook? I think it's limited or it's what your family members can put i don't know how that works but be cool if you popped in and alive fucking hmm. 
Oh. You already got 10 inches? You talk about last weekend? We're supposed to get 12 inches tonight. Just today? Yeah, it's heading this direction. <laughs> We're supposed to get 12 inches of snow. Well, shit, y'all. I'm going to have to hop off here. Go get the hand blender. Jess, if you want to come by, come on by. I'll fix your shit. Uh, yeah, they shut school down already. They just gave us a call and was like, no school tomorrow. And I'm like, cool. I ain't got to wake up early. Fuck you. <laughs> Hell yeah. I hope you do good with it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> well, come on by, Jesse. YouTube, I love you guys. Be good. Uh, I'll have some videos for you soon. I'm going to finish this Smurf Berry and make some videos of it for you. You guys be good. Later.